Welcome to my views and news. Uh, another video for you. Uh, firstly, Macale Tigray's capital. First aid convoy has entered Tigray's capital, Macale. Is this delivery uh, sufficient? What is Tigray regional government's position about this delivery of aid to Tigray? First delivery since the signing of the peace agreement. Secondly, uh, a journalist who was arrested more than three months ago was granted bail today. The man has been under state repression for years. He was arrested uh, several times in his journalistic career. Who is he? And lastly, we heard the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia once again changed its decision today about the branches newly opened or newly made functional in Volkayet, Homra, Sagade. There's seven CBE branches, Commercial Bank of Ethiopia branches, uh, resumed operations two days ago, but there was a dispute over the headquarters. That uh, the, the, the branches will be administered from Shire or from Gondar. There was a dispute. I did a video on that. Uh, the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia uh, two days ago said that the branches will be uh, monitored, uh, administered from Shire. But uh, it seems that CBE has changed its decision. Firstly, viewers, uh, good news uh, from Tigray that aid convoys are starting to arrive in Makale. Makale, Tigray's capital, where first aid convoy arrived today. It was ICRC uh, aid convoy, International Committee of Red Cross convoy. It was. It consisted of two trucks. The trucks uh, were carrying uh, medicines, uh, emergency uh, kits and other health supplies. So firstly, it's a very positive development that uh, much needed medical supplies are starting to arrive in Tegarai. I think this is the first delivery of aid to Tegarai uh, since the signing of the agreement. And since the start of third round of fighting, it started uh, on the 24th of August and came to a close around two weeks ago. Question is, is this first delivery of medical aid, uh, delivery of uh, medical supplies to Tegarai sufficient? What is a Tegarai regional government's position? Only Professor Kindea spoke about uh, this first delivery of uh, medical aid to Tigray. He confirmed the arrival of two trucks of ICRC in Makale. Uh, but he said more uh, must be done, more needed to be done. That is what he said. Overall, a step in the right direction, uh, we can say. Yes, Tigray needs much more. Tigray needs much more medical aid, much more food aid, much more uh, other types of aid. And we must not forget Afar and Amhara regions, bordering areas of Tigray Afar, Tigray Amhara. I always mention Afar when I mention Tigray too because northern uh, part of Afar has suffered a lot less reported. Same is the case with uh, Amhara, Tigray, border areas. People there suffer to less reported. Aid organizations must give equal attention to all these three regions, especially border areas of Tigray, Amhara, Tigray, uh, Afar, and entire Tigray region. Secondly, was a journalist who remain in prison several times in his career uh, has been released not released he was granted bail today uh, his name is uh, Tomaskan Dasselin Tomaskan was arrested uh, three to four months ago when 
Ethiopian federal government and Amhara regional government launched a crackdown on Fano. Uh, dissenting voices in the Amhara region were silenced. Journalists, activists, Fano fighters, their supporters, they were thrown in prisons. Several journalists were put behind bars. Uh, Tomaskan was arrested too. And Tomaskan uh, was arrested by EPRDF as well when he uh, was editor of a magazine. Back then, TPLF led EPRDF put him in prison. PP did the same. He is founder of Fitti magazine. He is very critical of the government, uh, does not uh, hold his punches when he lashes out at the government. So he was arrested three, more than three months ago. He was granted bail. A court granted him bail, but police filed appeal against his bail. He was not released. Today a court granted him bail, but has he been released? I have not seen any pictures uh, of his release so far. He is in Kaliti prison reportedly. We are waiting for confirmation about his release. But reportedly he is going to be released. Gobaz Sisse was uh, released from prison about three to four days ago. Gobaz Sisse is a veteran journalist. Uh, seasoned journalist uh, covering Ethiopian conflicts for uh, more than two decades. Same is the case with Tamaskan Dasselin, a seasoned journalist. Yes, you can uh, argue about the content of his magazine, about uh, uh, the way he criticizes the government, but he is one of uh, uh, seasoned journalists in Ethiopia and all governments took action against him. He remained under repression, under crackdown during the era of EPRDF and PP2. Uh, reportedly, he is going to be released in coming hours uh, from Kalithi prison. Updates in coming videos about uh, Tamaskan Dasalin. Lastly, because Commercial Bank of Ethiopia is changing decisions on daily basis. If you remember, two days ago, I reported that uh, Commercial Bank of Ethiopia decided to put seven newly made functional branches in Umra, Sagade, Volkait under a Shire administrative control, under the control of Shire headquarters. Though when the branches were opened uh, uh, four to five days ago, it was announced that the branches will function under Gondar headquarters. Before the start of uh, the third round of fighting, uh, before the start, uh, rather, since the start of the conflict uh, in northern Ethiopia uh, in November 2020, uh, banking remained suspended. The branches uh, uh, in Humaira, Volkai, Sagade were being administered by Shire headquarter before November 2020. But uh, now when uh, three days ago uh, CBE announced uh, resumption of services uh, by the seven branches in Adiramal, Somara and uh, uh, Dansha, other parts of uh, Humaira Volka Sagade. It said that uh, the branches would function under Gondar headquarter. Later, it changed the decision. And now again CBE has changed the decision. CBE said that the branches will function under Gondar headquarter. Why is this uh, issue important? Uh, because if branches uh, work under Gondar office, it means that uh, it could be an indication that uh, Volkai, Thumara, Sag is part of Amara region. But if branches come under Shire headquarter, it means that uh, Volkai, Thumara, Sag uh, is part of Tegarai. When I did a video a few, two days ago, some will criticized me. They said, Saji, the banking sector, uh, uh, distribution of branches, distribution of uh, zones, regions 
is not based on a regional basis, on ethnic basis. You are fueling conflicts. You are making decisions of banking sector controversial. But you see what is happening. If this is a simple issue, why is that CBE is changing statements on daily basis? The seven branches were under Gondar control, then they came under Shire control, now they are back in, they are back under Gondar control. Just in a matter of four to five days, CBE has given three different statements. That is why uh, this issue is not uh, a simple issue, it's a sensitive issue. Volkai Thumara Sagade is disputed territory between Tigray and Maha region. So whatever is uh, operating there, banks, uh, other institutions, uh, uh, will have to consider their decisions in terms of the authority which will control them. Will they remain under Amhara control or Tigray, Tigray headquarters control? That's a very key question. Both sides have very strong claims to uh, Humaira, Volkai, Sagade and Raya too. This issue is still an alive issue. Tigray uh, region, Amhara region could not resolve this issue. Pretoria agreement is silent on this issue. PMRB is prolonging the issue. The issue should be resolved for lasting peace in Ethiopia. Thank you for watching.